So initially when I was here at the Cypress Suite, I was really concerned about how low it is in terms of being on the sixth floor. And I just didn't think I would get a great view. That's it for this episode of Love on Tour, our review of the Cypress Suite at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. It is a room that's supposed to have a beautiful view, but it's just too low in the pecking order. I'll catch you next time. Peace. But I have to tell you, after being here for a while, I really have enjoyed the view. There is something special about laying in the bed watching the fountain show. In all the other suites here at the Bellagio, I hadn't had that experience, even though I've been in the penthouse suite, I've been in the Lakeview suite, and some other suites. But this particular suite, the way that the window was curved there, you really do get a great view at the top of the fountain show. You also get a great view of Paris, um, as well as a beautiful cityscape. The other thing is if, if you travel as a couple, you will enjoy the his and her bathrooms. I definitely went from the jacuzzi tub to the steam shower and back to the jacuzzi tub again. So all in all, the Cypress Suite was a good suite and it's one of their cheaper suites here in the hotel so you don't get access to their suite lounge. But again, I do think at 1,500 square feet, it's enough room to really spread out and enjoy yourself for a couple, not for a family. So if you are coming as a couple, I think the Cypress Suite should be on your list to check out. So, um, beautiful strip view, but these rooms are located on lower floors. They're telling me the highest floor is on the eighth floor which is just two floors up, so basically the same view. Now, it has a nice little chase lounge here. And then they have basically his and her bathrooms. I don't necessarily need that, but if you're traveling here as a couple, check it out. Got your dresser drawer there, nice sitting area. But see, you know, even here, I mean, you do get some view of the pools, but you're basically looking at rooftops there. Nice sink. And this is a steam shower. So you do have that capability there. This is your water closet. On this side, over here you do have uh, television, which again, I don't know about that, but uh, I don't know who would ever want that, but you do have a television here. It's not coming on, but there's a remote. Closet. Nice robes there, some slippers at the top. More than enough space to be here comfortably for a week. All right. Also be aware if you like to watch TV in the bed, this is one of those TVs, old style TVs that comes up out of <clears throat> this piece of furniture here. Most of the time, these AV uh, pieces here on the side that you're supposed to be able to plug into don't work. So just be aware of that. Do you have a nice little desk here? Get some work done. And then you do have some uh, space here on both sides for your uh, nightstand, things that you want. This is also interesting. They basically have a duvet on this bed and nothing else. So that's kind of interesting. Um, then you have an iPod dock here that you could use. And then walking <clears throat> this way. We have the other bathroom. And this bathroom has a vanity here. It also has dressers here.
Well, that's it for this episode of Love on Tour. This is PDH. Remember, it's love above all, love will travel, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.